Hello, I just want to quickly show you how to put a load of names into a, a number very common with uh, school leavers hoodies now. I'm going to start off with a number. I've used a chunky typeface, works best. Artistic Text Swiss 921 or anything chunky will work well. And I'm going to start off by going to the object and I'm going to break it apart. Two separate items now. Select both of these and now right click, left click convert to curves, these are now separate curves, select them both again and I'm going to make them white and I'm going to right click on the black with an outline that's purely and simply so we can see it easier to work with. I'm going to click on the text tool now, just zoom in so we can see what's going on and as we go in you can see that the icon changes to a rectangle with two letters inside it, left click that and we can see that we have got the dotted lines going around the shape and also we can see the flashing icon that means it's ready to accept text. You can start typing now. All the names have been supplied to me as a document, um, a Word document, could be RTF or anything which you can um, cut uh, into your clipboard. I'm going to do a control V now to paste it in. I'm going to discard any fonts and formatting and I'm going to click OK. And we can now see that that shape is now populated with a load of names. So I'm just going to select that again. Uh, not a great fan of uh, uh, Arial, so I think we'll change that to something uh, maybe Fira. I quite like Fira, so we'll just choose that. It's a nice, um, it's a nice free font. Um, let's do medium, and we will change the size as well. We'll start off with, uh, so let's 18. So we now we've done that. Now we can see now that that is red. What I'm, I'm just going to do now, I, I'm just going to break that away from the actual shape because it will be a lot easier to pick up if it's broken away from the original shape. We can see that that's red. That means that there's more text than can fill the shape. So we want it to overflow into the next shape. So if we select that again, and I left click on that there, we can see that that now changes icons. I'm going to drag this over slowly over to there until it goes to an arrow and I'm going to left click and we can now see that the remainder of that text is now populating that shape. Uh, so we'll just alter the size now and see how it looks at 20. Yeah, that's okay. Now you can see that it's also justified left. So really we need that to be fully justified. So if we look at our text properties, paradigm graph section, and we'll change that to full justify. Just left click that. And we can see we now we're filling that shape a little bit better. Let's make it just a wee bit bigger. Let me put it up to 22. And we can see that now that our last name, which was Yasmin M, has gone missing. But we can alter the line spacing. So we'll move it a bit closer together. So if we just click on that and we can see that the line spacing, basically the lines are moving closer together. There's there's Yasmin. Let's bring that, we still see Yasmin there. The Yasmin, the, the M has gone missing so we can either bring stuff closer together or we can just try and manipulate it a wee bit more. Um, maybe we can change the type style, maybe we'll just alter some of the, the, the spacing. Let's just uh, reduce that a bit more. And we can see she's now there. We can add some extra spaces and if we want to just click in there and if I just add some extra space just to pad it out a bit. You can see that's moved over. I can reduce that so we can see that that is there. I've given it a few extra spaces. What I, what I can do as well just by um, selecting that is that maybe we will now we'll force justify it rather than just ordinary full justify. So if I force justify, see that it's now moved over and it's filled the shape in a little bit better. Also, we'll say we're okay with that. Um, so to all intents and purposes, we're finished. What we'll do now is that we will just select the outside shapes and we'll right click on no outline. And that is effectively it. Um, this has been demonstrated in Corel Draw X7, but it's all 
pretty much similar in previous versions. Thank you for watching.